Oh, Mr. Banana, you make a poor stand-in for Johnny. Oh. All right, I'm Johnny. In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of missing a helper right now. Don't worry, she'll be back. There's a few things that are contributing to the state of today's video blog. Number one, I'm part of the greatest international scavenger hunt the world has ever seen. I would love to show you highlights, but they're a secret. Go team all the pie. Today is also my wedding anniversary with Shell. I'm starting to paint myself into a little bit of a corner here. See, because I've already made a really good video just for Harmony on her birthday. I already made a video just about Shell on her birthday. And now it's the anniversary. Now I'm going to do another video. And oh, Jesus Christ. If I'm going to be doing this next year. Just how completely hosed am I? I'm going to have to somehow one up all of these things. I'm not going to do a mushy washy little video blog for my wedding anniversary because there's a whole lot more to love than just being mushy. One of those things is displaying some adaptability. And this is something that I kind of want to give out to the rest of the world. Something that Shell and I have both learned and both realized over the years. You don't necessarily have to have your anniversary on your anniversary date. As long as both people are cool with it, move it around. We are actually going to end up doing that this year because the scavenger hunt is in this really awkward time and Shell just started a job and it's just, it's not going to work. So we're going to move it to a different week. Having that kind of freedom and knowing that the dates are arbitrary, but still celebrating them, I think is kind of cool. Tips for single guys from Justine. Wear a suit every once in a while. Girls love that shit. Our fifth year wedding anniversary, I wanted to get Shell something special that was over and above just a piece of chintzy jewelry. I wanted her to receive something so that she knew the depth of my love for her. And what I came up with was the beginning of a story. I went through each year that we were together and talked about the highlights of that year. And in so doing that, I started to give our relationship something of a story. And since then, it's been a ritual, if you will, that every year there's a new page added to the story. This is it. Totes adorbs, huh? It has pictures of important moments in our life, like the birth of harmony. It even has what I call the re-engagement. I asked Shell if she would marry me again. It was all very sweet. Guys or girls, totally do this. I feel like this is a really amazing way to give story and to give structure and to give depth to your marriage. It, it kind of encapsulates your, your marriage and makes it something strong and physical and there where you can go back and you can both look back upon your lives in a written form and see how it all makes sense together and see your own story. It's incredibly powerful. It's not easy, but it's extremely rewarding for take this idea and remix it and run with it. But I think it's really good. And I think it's really, really powerful. So on this, the 14th anniversary, this is my gift to the world and to you, Shell. Stories are fun.